Real quick channel update guys, I'm required to work from home now, but how will I ever do that with this empty desk? Oh my god, no way Acer, thank you for sponsoring this video. Is that the new 4K IPS Predator monitor at 43 inches with a whopping 120 hertz? Which I can use as a TV replacement for my living room as well as my primary gaming display? And what's that? No way is that the Predator Orion 5000 desktop with top tier performance, a 9th gen Intel processor GTX 1660 Ti with its amazing cooling system to keep that badass processor cold using its all-in-one cooler master liquid cooler? And what's this? The Predator Cestus 510 gaming mouse, built for speed with crazy high 16,000 dpi and swappable top cover and optional weights to make it as comfortable to hand as I like it. And hold up, don't tell me that's the Predator Atheon 500 keyboard. I can't take this anymore, guys. It's too cool. Click the link in the description and check it out, guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to something that I haven't done in a long time. Check it out, we're flying with the Spitfire on Hamada. Now the reason we're doing this right now is because, hold on, I looked behind me there, heard the gunfire, I didn't see him. There's a bogey on my six apparently. So the reason we're doing this today guys is apparently the rockets on the Spitfire have for some reason been like overpoweredly buffed. Uh, looks like I've got a nitrous boost to try and help me here. I am not seeing the enemy. I'm hearing him. But I've got no eyes on the enemy here. I think there may be two of them. Why can't I see these guys, man? Oh, I see the contrails of one of them. Okay, I think I'm right on him here. Yep, hello BF109. <laughs> now, I don't know if the rockets are actually really good against the BF109, but... I just know I need to try test it at air to ground. Because everyone is talking about how buffed they are right now. And how overpowered they are. Apparently they just annihilate everything. He's pulling back on the throttle. And he's got... Oh, he's got friends. Do you know what? I'm just going to bail, heal up, and get him at a different angle. What can I do? He's actually quite a competent pilot as well, so that's a bit awkward. He's coming straight for me. No, he's turning away. Still haven't gotten to test out the rockets, man. Do you like my skin, by the way? Check it out. I've got this cool aftermarket skin. Look at that, man. Why am I getting the repairs when he's right on me? It's a nice little aftermarket skin. It's, it's a bit sandy, you know. It kind of blends in with Hamada. Maybe they lose me with this camouflage. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna do a move to try and get him to overshoot. There we go. And he's, is he going to hit the mountain? No, he's still going. All I know is this time, I, oh, his friend came, is, oh, come on, dude. <laughs> what a tough time. I just want to test the rockets. They didn't see me come over here? Are you serious? They've lost me behind the mountains. Let's go get all the repairs then. Oh, one's on me. He's looking for me. I think. What a tough game, man. What a tough game. Well, how am I going to deal with these pilots alone? I need to take them one by one somehow. Okay, let's turn toward this guy. We have got a nitrous speed boost. Uh, I guess I want to use it when I'm climbing. But I can't control it the way you can in the Pacific Theater. It's just a one-click activate. Look, they're both hunting my wingman. Let's see if we can save him somehow. Ah, bastards. One down, where's the other one? I think I hear him. I think. I don't know, I've lost him. So let's see if we can blow someone up with some rockets. Well, he went down instantly with an enemy 100. Enemy hit 100. Didn't articulate myself there, did I? He went down straight away. Look at that. He's on my six. What a competent enemy air force here. And there's his wingman. Oh, come on, dude. Just calm the frick on. Give me a break. Oh, my goodness. They've lost me again. No. 
I was doing well. They lost me. I keep losing them with that. I think it's my skin. It just blends in with the surrounding. It's quite cool. We still need to test out these rockets, but we need to deal with the Air Force first. Okay, let's try this again. We're going to try and go straight for the enemy Air Force because we can't deal with this. I wonder if they're communicating though. Because every time I go for one, the other one finds me. I don't think he's seen me. Good. Okay, that was not the good one though. The other one is diving on me right now, I'm sure of it. Oh, great. Anti-air. Where's the other one? He's over there in their airfield, in their airspace. Okay. So we're going to fly low. It's harder to see us against the ground. So we're going to fly low and get over to his side. See, we can fight him. Oh, there we go. He didn't see me. He probably heard me though. Oh my God. Both of them at the same time. Every time, dude. They're so frustrating. He's gone down over here. Let's tail him, get in a quick, cheeky couple repairs. There we go. We're max health. We're right on a six. I think this is the good pilot. Look at that anti-air, man. Nitrous boost. Because the other one is on me as well. Man, that's so annoying. It's so annoying that I have to dogfight two of them. Let's just let's just try and get back to our side of the base. Use the rocks, the mountainside for cover if we can. Okay, let's start pulling back now. Very frustrating. What can I do when it's 2v1? Okay, we get another chance of this. Now, let's see if we can just quickly kill him and then test the rockets out. I know that's the plan. It just doesn't seem to be working as well as I anticipated. I'm going straight for this one. Let's quickly use the rockets though. Damn anti-air gun. I had to just quickly uh, take him out. Even though I had the drop on the other enemy pilot, which was ideal. But the anti-air gun gives away your position. And if the anti-air gun is giving away your position like that, that's really going to affect you negatively. Because your main advantage on Hamada is that you can't really see each other. It's hard to see each other through all the smoke. I see one. See, I could barely see this guy. And he's on our side of the airfield. On the our side of the map, I mean. Now, this is the Spitfire VB. I don't know which guns are best for air-to-air. -air. Haven't you really played the base game in a long time? He's dropping flares. This is the competent one. If we can kill him, that's a real help. What's he doing, man? He's down. I don't think that was the competent one. Because that's not his uh, name tag. This is the competent one. Let's teach him a lesson. Finally, we can claim air superiority. We should just win this. He's pulling back. I thought he was the competent one. But he's just accepting my bullets. He's just stomaching them and... Well, he was just stomaching them and accepting them. Now he seems to be trying some moves, which is good. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Finally. No! What the hell? I just killed the other one and he's back in the air. He goes straight back in the air. I've just got to constantly deal with a competent air force here. This is so frustrating. All I wanted to do was play with some rockets. Like every little boy does. Does he see me? Yeah, he sees me. <sighs> okay, we're going to turn toward him. Nitrous boost here. Hopefully that gives us an edge. I think that anti-air gun is friendly. So I should probably lure him towards it. I do hear him. Good job. The sector is now ours. I did hear him. I've lost ears. Oh no, he's right there. See how hard that is to see him. Wow, man. 
I'm just gonna go straight for the uh, anti-air gun. Oh, and then the anti-air gun dies. He left his gun. Finally got a chance to use the cheeky rockets there. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> he's going to be right on me here. No, he's not. No, I was pulling back, getting ready for the overshoot. But I did just hear him as well. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Speed boost. <laughs> I'm proper stuck here. And then I somehow ended up on a six. <laughs> I was floating for how long? just happened <laughs> that's the good pilot is I love boomer juice I hope he stops harassing me now let me just play with my rockets please oh look at that perfect time to test the rockets just look at them all oh it's so sensitive Woo! four man just easily so easily let's get some more that's gonna be fun Imagine if I was uncontested in the skies and I could just keep doing that on repeat. Dice have really left us open as overpowered. Do you know what? I would never have played the base game over the Pacific Theater. Well, it would have taken me a long time to want to come back. But Dice found a way by making these so powerful. Is there a tank? I would love to try these on a tank. Where's the tanks? I don't see any tanks. <laughs> I just found a random kill. I'll take it. Where the hell are they then? Let's clear the rockets and get another resupply while we're here. See if we can find an actual tank. I think that is a tank. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, I have lost it. No, there it is. Okay. That was a full health tank. And he went down so quick. Wow, dude. These are powerful. <laughs> These are really powerful. Now's the time to unlock your Spitfire. You've got to use the VB variant, not the VA variant. And that is the one I'm flying. We've got to definitely take care of this guy while we can. While we're on his six, because we know he's going to annihilate us as soon as he can. Of course, his wingmen, the amount of times they have their wingmen back them up in these fights. I reckon the good one is the one behind me. What happened? Oh, my wingman is to the rescue. Yeah, he, okay, he's overshot. Speed boost. I think it's much easier to use the uh, overshoot mechanics. You know, the pullback mechanics when you've got the speed boost to get you out of it as well. It's pretty good. Where is that dogfight happening? There. There he is. I think he's pulling back. He's just pulled underneath me to the left. He's pulled again to the right. There he is. It's a 2v1 on you now. How do you like it, buddy? <laughs> Let me play with rockets. Let the little boy play with his rockets, mate. I did see his wingman has joined the fight. So I don't know how long till he's on R6. This is a severe... Contested skies. Right here. We gotta be careful we don't hit each other. Did I really just run out of ammo? Okay, he's down. Wingman did get in. This is Stuka! <laughs> Stuka has joined the fight! Welcome, Stuka. I warmly welcome you. Did I just see a tank? Ooh, that's not good. That is an anti-air gun. I'm gonna try and shoot that anti-air gun out of range. 
So he's in there, is he? Can I mark it? I have no idea where that marker just went, but we're going to try and shoot him out of range. There he is there, right? That's it. No, it was two out. I think they were blowing up before they got to uh, the target because of um, the timeout. There's a timeout on these rockets. That seemed very risky, didn't it? Flying through the bridge. Let's now dive. And make sure it's clear. Yeah, it's clear. And there is a Fliegerfaust in the base game. I have not experienced that yet, I'll be honest. Woo, look at that Fliegerfaust. <laughs> you got time to react, I dodged it. Oh, oh no, oh no, okay. We have to do it again, do we? I would really rather not. Let me play with my rockets, buddy. I'm gonna help him. Uh, where? There we go. There we go. Okay, and where was that anti-air gun that was just shooting at me? Hey? Okay, all the way over there. Let's try and get him out of range. I think that's it, right? Beautiful. You can line up... You know, before he has a time... You know, he has a chance to react. You do get that opportunity. It's quite nice on Hamada. There's loads of airspace to do that. And then... We can play with some rockets, baby! Let's find a tank. There's a tank that has been identified already. Rockets are reloaded. Let's do this. Oh, it's gonna be fun. 70 damage. I think one of them missed. One of my rockets missed. Uh, my wingman just died. That is not good. I felt quite a bit secure with the fact that I had a wingman helping me here. And I've lost it. I think he's looking for me. But I really want to get the tank as well. Okay, he's down. Is it just my controls or... Is the BF-109... Sorry, the Spitfire really sensitive. It might be my controls. I've got no choice but to disengage this dogfight. With the anti-air gun. He's got to be on my six, right? Surely. He's going to use that opportunity. But no. My wingman interfered. Oh, man. Still reeling the rockets. Trying to get the AA gun. Before I start the dogfight. Where is it? Oh, I don't know where it would be. I screw that up. I didn't know where it would be. <laughs> Go on, wingman! <laughs> this turned into an air superiority battle and not a rocket test. But we have seen that the rockets are amazing. Ooh, uh, we a Werbel Wind. It has been a while since I've seen a Werbel Wind instantly down from the rockets. But then his anti-air stationary gun came to the rescue. Forced me away. Quickly checking around the cabin. Let's see if we can kill him in one pass, because I'm noticing that with how sensitive the Spitfire is, you it's really hard to be accurate. Look how sensitive. So damn sensitive. I think I just stole that guy's kill. Poor guy. <laughs> I am sorry, dude. And then the stationary AA on their airfield. I need to learn where that AA is. Okay, let's ignore the AA and go for the squad call in here. I forget the name of this thing. Wow, did we really just take it down from how much health? Like, it's always somewhere around here and I don't know where. Let's go for the tank. <laughs> Hit and run, baby! <laughs> AA gun was asleep at the wheel. Saw an opportunity. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Is he coming for me? I think he is. He's coming straight for me. Speed boost is going to run out soon. Let's see if we can get away. And wait for my speed boost to reload. He's somewhere behind me, right? Let's turn toward him. It's amazing how little you can see the BF-109 in the sky. I mean, I did not see him.
he's... R I'm right on his contrail, so I know where he is. I don't know what you call it. I don't know if contrails is the right word. But at least we don't have to worry about AA all the way over here. Let's do a low yo-yo, see if that helps cut the, cut, cut the circle a bit. There we go. There we go, come on. You're mine, buddy. Come on, dude. Just accept it. I'm on your six. You're gonna have to do a f some kind of crazy maneuver to lose this. You know, lose me now. Because you're just nowhere near friendly AA forces. Maybe friendly wingmen could come and help you. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I had to pull left because of the. Oh, I lost him. I. <laughs> I actually lost him. Well, guys, there you have it. Check out the Spitfire VB with the rockets. Pretty damn cool at the moment. Don't know why DICE uh, allowed this to happen. Maybe it's intentional. Maybe it's an accident. Maybe they buffed the rockets in the Pacific Theater, which accidentally buffed these rockets to an overpowered level. All I know is they are pretty damn effective. But if you think about it, how much of an opportunity did I have to actually use them because I was constantly getting battled in the air? and fought from the ground by anti-air. So, maybe everything is balanced. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Also, thank you to Acer for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to click the link in the description to check out the hardware. Also, thanks to Acer for giving me this backpack and these Predator watches to give away to you guys. Follow my Twitter for details on how to enter the giveaway.